If you would, we turn to the book of Isaiah, chapter 58. Like I say, it's uh, been a blessing for me for the last two weeks that I could uh, just stay in the house and study and I'd get the lesson and the Lord would bless me and then I'd get another lesson and the Lord would bless me. Mm-hmm. So I got I got a bunch of lessons. Yeah. Uh, one of these days, I'll, maybe I'll get them all out. But anyway, this is the one that I, uh, I feel like that we need to study on this morning concerning the uh, watchman. And, uh, Chapter 58 of the book of Isaiah. Uh, the uh, in the last verse there in 21 of 57. I'm sorry, don't. Uh, in 57 it says, "There is no peace, saith my God, to the wicked." Amen. So this is something this morning when uh, Isaiah was inspired of the Lord, and starting in verse one of chapter 58, he says, "Cry aloud, a cry aloud." And spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob. Now he is he is encouraging uh, the nation. Uh, he is encouraging Isaiah, and Isaiah is encouraging the nation to speak up uh, and to uh, cry aloud. And that this morning is what uh, the Lord has. Uh, given us the opportunity to do and uh, I'm so thankful this morning that we can cry aloud not only here in this building but we can cry aloud out in the world Amen. with the, with the new uh, equipment that we have and, uh, and the uh, discoveries of all how to uh, spread the word and uh, uh, it's, a, it's a blessing this morning to know that, that we are uh, able to cry out and to tell people uh, about their souls and about their salvation, and this is what that uh, the Isaiah is telling the people here about in uh, crying out loud. Now, notice uh, he is asking them to be watchmen. Well, in this chapter, we'll see some of the things that they said about. But notice over in in uh, fifty six ten. Where he says, talk just to, just to listen to His watchmen are blind. Mm-hmm. They are ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Right. And this is this is a thing that uh, it fits our nation as a as a whole. And this is the reason why that we're having the problem that we're having with our government. Uh, This is why some of the states uh, in our United States are being completely demolished Mm -hmm. because uh, the Lord is tired of people being like this watchman here that he's talking about, that they're sleeping dumb dogs. And uh, that don't show, uh, that that don't help uh, the earth, the world, none at all there. And uh, if we, as we study here, you'll notice some of the things that they they say to Isaiah about this. So he says in verse 2 of 58, they, Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways. As a nation that did righteousness, and forsook not the ordinance of, of their God. They did. They were right. But now notice, they ask of me the ordinance of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. And so uh, they ask in verse three, "Wherefore have we fast? Wherefore have we fast?" Say they, and thou seest not. And so they are. They are talking to Isaiah and even talking to God and saying, Hey, we fast. Why? What's wrong? Because you're not seeing us. And that today is the same situation that's going on with this country of ours is people are proclaiming that they're sons of God and that they're trying to live for God. And they're like this watchman over here. They're asleep. They're dumb dogs. And they... Uh, are not serving the Lord, and yet there's coming up and saying, "Hey, we go to church and we we do this and we do that." And listen, 
they're all they're all lost people mm -hmm. because the situation they're blinded by the God of this world and you see here uh, in verse uh, 2 he says yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation and that is a whole nation that is seeking his way and they, they say we're looking for the truth and they sometimes hear the truth but they won't listen to the truth mm -hmm. because they got their own ways and they are uh, uh, false prophets. Yet he says in verse 3, Where have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our souls, and thou takest no knowledge? In other words, they're saying they've afflicted their own souls. And, and he says, uh, In the day of your fast ye you find pleasure and exact all your labors and and what they were doing is that they were going out and and telling people no you're not to work on the sabbath and you're not to even uh, build a farm on the sabbath and all this but he says here in in this that he says and exact all your labors in other words they were doing exactly what they told the people not to do and they were they were going ahead and doing all the things that uh, that they wanted to do and then turn around and accuse others of this thing and you know uh, we have this thing with the with the two praying over there and uh, and uh, one confessing hey I did this and I did this and I did this and I'm not like this one well that's the, that's these people here I'm not like him I'm, right. I'm better than he is but yet they're all in the deepest of sin and we have church after church after church our so-called churches I'll put it that way that are trying and they're preaching they're preaching and they're saying hey we're in the will of God and they're teaching false doctrine right teaching it to the point that people are just falling like flies and they're falling for these things and and the thing of it is the flesh the flesh delights in it mm -hmm. the flesh and, and if it feels good to the flesh they do it and so we see here this morning it, he says in, in our in our lesson here in verse 4 behold ye fast for strife and debate and to smite with the fist of wickedness ye shall not fast as you do this day to make your voice to be heard on high in other words they were they were fasting but it won't be heard on and i want you to turn with me if you would and we'll read some scripture that you knew of uh, a concern in first kings this morning in verse 20 you don't have to turn over there but you can just listen to what i'm going i want to read to you first kings 21 21 yeah 21 first kings 21 and verse 9 and this speaks of Ahab and his little deal that he wanted this uh, garden. And so it says, And it came to pass after these things that Nabob, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard, which was in Jezreel, hard by the palace, and Ahab king of Samaria. And Ahab spake unto Nabob, saying, Give me thy vineyard, that I may have it for a garden, of earth because it is near unto my house and I will give thee for it a better vineyard than it or if it seems good to thee I will give thee the worth of it in money and Naboth said unto Ahab the Lord forbid it me that I should give the inheritance of my father unto thee and so we see that Ahab using his his authority was trying to persuade Naboth to sell him or give him this land and the Lord had already told him hey that's not that's not what I want you to do I want you to keep the land and it's the same way with these people over here you say that you're you're fasting and that you're that you're doing all these things and you're lying but notice here what happened and we know it but we won't, I won't read it anyway and so uh, notice here in verse 4 and, that, and Ahab came into his house very heavy and displeased because of the word which Naboth the Jezreelite had spoken to him. For he had said, I will not give thee the inheritance of my father. His bed, uh, he, he, he lay down upon his bed, and turned away his face, and would eat no bread. Now here is the deciding factor, Jezebel. Uh, a worker 
like that is working among the people today that in these in these false teachings and all this there is a work going on by the spirit of the devil completely mm-hmm. and he is the one that is leading them and listen he is not he is not uh, uh, hindered a bit or he is not afraid to sit in the audience of all of these so-called churches and do his thing he's not he's found a, he's found a resting place and he's he keeps on he keeps on doing them just like Jezebel here done to for Nabal. So notice, but Jezebel, his wife, came to him and said to him, Why is thy spirit so sad that thou eatest no bread? And he said to her, Because I spake to Nabal, the Jezreel, and said unto him, Give me thy vineyard for money, or else, if it please thee, I will give thee another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give thee the vineyard. And Jezebel, his wife, said unto him, Dost thou now... Gov- no, does thou now, governor, king of Israel, oh, arise, eat bread, and let thy heart be merry. I will give thee the vineyard to Nabob. And we know what happens here. So she she wrote letters in verse 9, saying, Proclaim a fast, and set Nabob on the high on high among the people, and set two men, sons of Beel, before him to set to bear witness against him saying, Thou did blaspheme God and the king, and then carry him out and stone him that he may die. And so these these are the things, I want to read this to you, these are the things, these are the things that are going on in our lesson this morning. People are encouraging people to believe a lie. Right. And they're they're setting them up they're setting them up and telling them these lies. And listen, the same thing is going to happen to them that happened to Nabal. Hey, they're going to, they're, 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 one day they're going to stand before God, and God is going to say, Depart from me, I never knew you, right. you wicked people. And so this is what this, this fast, he's, he's talking about this fast and being a watchman, and we as God's people need to understand what's going on in our country today. And if we have an opportunity, uh, we need to cry out and spare, and spare not and, and not be timid and not be afraid right. to speak because God has promised us, hey, uh, I'll be with you and I'll give you a, a mouth to speak and a tongue to, to speak and and. You, you 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 know they may they may say something bad again you they may try to harm you but he said this I'll be with you amen and this morning this is something that we we need to be encouraged with is that we have our Father God the Father and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit with us and when we have an opportunity when the Holy Spirit speaks to one of us we need to be a witness to to people and whether or not whether or not it will do any good. That word that you speak, if they are stand before the judgment seat of God uh, uh, to be judged and they're lost, the white throne judgment, that word that you speak will be brought up before them. Right. They say, didn't, didn't this person say this to you? And, didn't it? and they'll say, well, he, he did. But I didn't listen. So the word will not return void. It will not return. You can you can believe this, or uh, and you need to accept this thing that what you say to people trying to help them, God's word, it will not return void, and He will be there. And they may slap you, they may hit you, they may kick you, but listen, He says, "I'll be with you." Amen. And so we, as God's people, this this coming year, we need to try to. Uh, uh, encourage people and and and, uh, and talk to them more because uh, uh, there's so many people out there that it, it's that's just all messed up and they need your help. Mm-hmm. And so here's 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 another thing here. In verse uh, verse six here again, I read this: Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of the wicked? And up here in verse five, he says, "It is just." It is such a fast that I have chosen, a day for a man to afflict his soul. Is it now, is it to bow down his head as a bulrush and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Wilt thou call this a fast? 
and acceptable day to the Lord. Then he says, Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of the wickedness, to undo heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that they and that ye break every yoke. And these yokes are the yokes of bondage that the people had on and I, I was reading some back in the uh, in in the, uh, another scripture there, but it, it says that uh, one of the things that they would do is if if someone come to them and would 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 be their servant for five years, that was the thing. But on uh, six years, I believe, on the seventh year, they would turn them, they would have to turn them loose unless they wanted to stay. And that was that's what he's talking about breaking the yoke. They would set those people free and let them go. But uh, it says there that a lot of them chose not to. But right. anyway, this is the thing that he's talking about here. It's just keeping the, the people compressed and, and the poor and they haven't got no way to, to uh, uh, pay their debts and all this. And he just keep, they just keep them down. And this is what, what he's asking about the fast. There is a fast and, and uh, we need to uh, uh, understand that there's 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 times here uh, that uh, the bands of, uh, of wickedness should be broken, and he says uh, uh, in verse seven, he says, "It is it not to deal <coughs> deal thy bread to the hungry, and that they thou bring the poor, and are cast out of thy house when thou seest the nation a naked, that thou coverest him, and that thou hide not thyself." from thine own flesh. Then shall thy light bring forth as the morning, and thy health shall bring forth a speedily. And this thing of, with the fast, listen, it's just not only the fast for the body, for doing doing uh, doing something that, that will uh, that will uh, help the body. But listen, this is this is a fast that you do lovingly, spiritually towards those that you see oppressed, and that's that's a, an everyday fast, and uh, 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 it's it's something that that we need to try to do. But anyway, I want I want to read something to you if I can find it here in Luke 12. We'll we'll read just a little bit about that in Luke. 12 and verse 37 <clears throat> and look in uh, chapter uh, Luke 12 35 let your loins be girded about and your lights burning and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord when he will return from the wedding. Then when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that he will gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve him. And if he call, and if he shall call in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so blessed are those servants. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched, and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready also, for in the for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. And we Amen. read this. We read this because Jesus, when He comes back and calls for us, He needs to find us in a fasting condition. That is, that would be, that is pleasing because you notice all of the things over here in the Old Testament about fasting and how that we are to be loving and kindly and not mean to our neighbors and all this. This is what he wants, and and the watchman, he's he's identifying as a watchman, and he's saying, you watch, you watch, and you watch, because uh, it says there that the, that the, that the Lord would come as a thief in the night, and uh, we we need to be watching, and how can we be watching instead of being like 
they were over there as dumb dogs and slumbering and all of this? Well, because we know the Lord Jesus Christ, and we ought to, we we ought to be serving Him twenty four. So, Amen. We ought to have Him in our heart. We ought to have Him on our mind. And we ought to be ready. And when He comes, if if we're here when He comes, hey, we ought to be just as ready as we'll ever be. Because uh, that's the way He wants to find us. That's the way. And He, he asked the question, will there be faith on the earth? Well, uh, if I'm here, I, I, if I'm here, I hope, that if uh, there's number, if it's number one, I hope there'll be some faith in there. Mm-hmm. But the thing of it is, listen, it's going to be very little. It's going to be very little, and uh, I say that there'll be a, a few small groups uh, like this church here that will be that will be faithful. And uh, so, mm-hmm. you know, that's 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 what we need to think about. Amen. Hey, so now, again, I want to sit, read another one here, uh, and I've already mentioned it, but Matthew 24. Uh, there are several. Uh, maybe we Matthew 24. Yeah. Matthew 24, 37. I'm going to read it. I need this, this page to turn. Matthew 24 and verse 37. Notice. But as of the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Lord of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until that, day, uh, that, that the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Amen. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other one left. So again, in verse 42 it says, Watch, therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. So this morning... We're, we're, we're talking about the watchman and being ready to come. And uh, we want to say that uh, 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 again, the signs of the time and, and all these things are some of the things that we need to watch. So back in our lesson again in Isaiah. Uh, in verse... Uh, what is it is In verse 9, in verse uh, 58, I'm sorry, Isaiah 58, verse 9, Then shall thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of these the yoke, the putting forth of the fingers, and the spreading vanity, and if thou draw out thy soul to the humble, and satisfy the afflicted soul. Then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. And the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, Amen. and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose water fell not. And I thought of this when I was reading and studying this, you know, there's nothing uh, I don't know that speaks more to the flesh than what it's talking about in the water garden. You, you that have plants or gardens, you know how it looks when when the drought comes and everything is just wilted and everything and how that fresh water comes and how they pair it up and how that you can go out and walk them on. It's, it's the same way that the Lord has given us an example of if we are... Uh, ones that cry out, speak out, uh, we'll be like them. Amen. And that'll be our, that will be our uh, great pleasure this morning. And so he says, notice here, uh, they, and they that shall be of thee shall build the old wise waste places, 
Thou shalt rise up, raise up the foundation of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thine own way, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own word. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob, thy father, of the mouth of the Lord has the, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Y'all come on in and have a seat. We're not closing our uh, Sunday school lesson, but this is this is this is the one. Some of the rewards that we have we have uh, 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 see about when when we have the opportunity to uh, cry aloud and speak and tell others and be a witness to other people. This is our. Uh, this is some of the rewards that we have, and uh, when we stand before the God, before the, the God the Father, and He said, "Well done, thou good and faithful soul." That will be that will be a reward time. Amen. Yeah. So we thank you this morning for uh, listening to our our Sunday school lesson. We we're glad to see our visitors come in. We want you to feel as welcome as you really are this morning. Thank you so much for your attention. Amen.